Here. What are these? They're Z-Rams. They're metal pointy slugs against zombies. Against who? Zombies, man. They're coming. What the hell is he talking about, zombies? Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Well, the world famous Z Rams guys finally made it to Airgun Alley. Many of you know them. Almost everybody wants them. And some of you actually shot them. And if you're here now, you, my friend, are also curious to see how effective these Z Rams actually are. So let's step into my office for a closer look. All right, folks, as you know, ZRAM is a German company that specializes on pointy metal slugs. So I have them here in the 50 and 68 caliber. And to spice things up, I have two versions of the 68 caliber, an 8 gram and a 10 gram version. Let's weigh them. These should be around 10 grams, 971, 978. So just right under 10 grams. But we have this other 68 caliber version, which is a little bit lighter. It's about 838, so right under 8.5 grams. As for the 50 caliber version, they weigh right under four and a half grams. As for the diameter, the 50 caliber are 4.855, while the 68 caliber are slightly bigger. So we have 6815. Today, as always, I'll be shooting my HDR50 or TR50. This one here is the 11 joules version. Below in the description, as always, you'll find all the links to where you can get yours. And for the 68 caliber Z Rams, we'll be shooting my HDR68, which was pretty much tuned up to its maximum potential. All right, so before loading our Z Rams into our magazines, uh, as always, I will be changing CO2 cartridge before uh, every test. And again, I'll be using the Umarex 12 gram CO2 cartridges. Um, oh, and if you're wondering what that is, well, let me give you a quick preview. rifle isn't it well i will say no more make sure you're subscribed to the channel make sure you did click that bell because there's a lot to come with this rifle but let's now load our 50 caliber z rams see how they fit in our magazine load them from behind obviously to not get punctured and wow they fit very very nicely perfectly I would say look at that an absolute perfect fit very very steady very very solid and I do not believe there is any gap between between the projectile the magazine let's load the uh, 68 cal these are the 10 gram version the a bit heavier ones obviously with the hdr 68 you have to load them from the front given these uh smaller rings on the back of the magazine but no problem there look at that they fit absolutely perfectly very very well fixed and again no air gap between the projectile and the magazine. Finally, 
let's go with the lighter 68 caliber version And also the lighter version fit perfectly. Fantastic. Today, I proudly present to you my new rudimentary but hopefully effective homemade tunnel of destruction, which today features four quarter inch plywood sheets on one side and two half inch drywall boards on the other. Our other targets other than the tunnel of destruction today are going to be this two and a half gallon plastic water jug. Of course, our very hard Dominican Republic coconuts, cantaloupes, small can of SpaghettiOs for the 50 caliber, large can of SpaghettiOs for the 68 caliber, and finally, our zombie mannequin. Shooting distance. Twenty feet, or six meters. All right, speeds into 270 feet per second. Not bad at all. And we have a bit of complete penetration. Uh, obviously the, the whole projectile did not come through, but they did poke some holes on the other side indeed. And I see some floating in here. All right, folks, I just pulled them all out of the water jug. Very, very much reusable. All right, high speeds as well with the eight gram 68 caliber Z Rams. Uh, they were around 250 feet per second. Um, obviously, seems like all the projectiles have entered. And again, we have some great puncturing, but I don't think anything actually came out of the other side. However, look at that. That is some great, great puncturing. And again, all 68 caliber Z-Rams seem to be completely reusable. All right, 10 gram Z-Rams, a little bit heavier. Obviously we had lower speeds and feet per second. All the projectiles seem to have entered. None have come out completely the other side. We do have a few puncturings again. 
All right, folks, we are finally down to our destruction tunnel. Um, I'm just gonna now use the 50 calibers and the 68 caliber without differentiating between eight grams and 10 grams. So uh, we'll give it a round of 50 cal and we'll give it a round of 68 cal first uh, on the quarter inch plywood and after that on the half inch drywall. Let's see our 50 caliber here. Huh. So, I see a few stuck between the first and the second layer, and others stuck between the third, the second and the third layer, but nothing made it to the fourth. So let's have a look. Okay, so they all enter the first layer. one two and almost three made it through the second layer but finally nothing hit the third layer all right let's try the 68 cal What do we have here? <laughs> All right, so look at that entry. That's pretty good entry holes right there. So the first, the second, we have one stuck there. Made it to the third. And this is old, this is from the 50 cal. But that is a puncturing from the 68 cal. So it definitely went through all three and one of them punctured the fourth one. Very cool indeed, and look at that. They are all absolutely perfectly intact, pointy, and ready to be reused. All right, our 50 cal damage on the drywall. Who I did a little miss there. But anyway, let's see. All right, well, some did come through all the way and some got stuck. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five went through the first drywall. They did kind of hit the second one as well while one went right through the second one as well. Who knows where it went though. Sixty-eight caliber drywall damage. They all seem to have entered the first layer. Who? They all seem to have seriously damaged the second layer. However, 
four of them did land in between the two layers while the fifth one the fifth one is MIA it is finally coconut time we'll start with the 50 cal <laughs> So I shot a couple rounds at this. Um, as you can see, we definitely scalped it, but they did not completely enter the coconut. Again, we removed the outer skin, which is very, very hard, uh, but no complete penetration. Um, I very much think that the 68 caliber will instead Obliterate it. Let's try that. All right, well, clearly we have entirely penetrated this coconut right here. All that delicious water just wasted. Now, that is the 68 caliber damage versus the 50 caliber damage. All right, SpaghettiO times. Small can for the small caliber. All right, well, we opened the can and we have some nice entry holes, no exit holes, although they did indeed try. But hey, we're getting rid of as many SpaghettiOs as we can from this world. And 68 caliber. All right, 68 caliber, Z Rams. <laughs> I kind of aimed or hit the same spot over and over again. So that is one hell of a big entry hole. And there's a little crack there. So some of them indeed tried to penetrate through the whole can. Nice. So I'm running really low on the 50 cal uh, projectiles. So for the cantaloupe, we will only shoot the 68 cal. It is a, you know, it's a melon. It's a cantaloupe, quite of a hard skin. Let's see indeed if the projectiles will penetrate it completely or what kind of damage they'll do. And look at that, 10 shots into the cantaloupe. None of them 
have come out of the other side. But they did make a mush of the entry spot, of the entry point. Some of these are stuck completely on the other side. So they really nearly almost came out, but not quite. So they got stuck into the outer skin of the melon. The moment we've all been waiting for, or a zombie fiberglass mannequin. Uh, which reminds me that uh, I will soon be getting a proper uh, ballistic gel dummy with bones and everything. Uh, so finally, we'll, we'll finally be able to get a realistic feel uh, uh, on what these projectiles actually do on human flesh. Uh, but for now, we'll actually take off the shirt from our zombie just so we can see what kind of damage we will actually do on the fiberglass. As you see, I killed him already with the air saber arrow rifle. So he is indeed half dead. Um, under this, we have a rubber mannequin head, which we will see also later after we shoot it, what kind of damage we do to it as well. So, let's get shooting. We'll shoot both 50 and 68 caliber. All right, folks, the moment of truth. It seems like we have not brought any particular damage to the body. Let's see the head. All right, well, amazing. These rubbers and fiberglass really are resistant to our HDRs and all the projectiles that we shoot with them. Not a single hole, not a single scratch anywhere. But that again is a recurrent thing with all the projectiles that I've shot at this with the HDRs and the, generally the T4E. The only thing that has completely penetrated it is PCP. So what did you guys think about these Z Rams. These guys are among the most powerful slugs that I've ever shot. They are obviously pointy, they are great for penetration, um, and they're extremely reusable. Uh, no matter what target you shoot, unless you lose them, you can reuse them. These are definitely slugs that I would want to keep into my HDRs, either 50 or 68. Um, they're extremely reliable and effective. So I would definitely, definitely uh, keep some of these always ready to go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you watch this video next. I had a ton of fun shooting it. It was a great video. So do watch it and do please click that like button if you did indeed like the video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you at the next one.